I always like these, like, open it, loading screen. Makes it feel so dramatic. At least sets the mood. Alright, well, it is four months and some kind of days. 22 days. Four months, 22 days. And let's see. There's something a little different planned for today. Uh, where I'm going to kind of spread out what I'm doing over a few days. So I'm going to kind of like do one task and then just sit around until the next day and then do another task. Uh, so today I want to do a perimeter check and also have, you know, put in some new entrances. Because I don't have you know, a way to actually get in and out of the mall with the uh, the car moat reconfigured the way it is. Uh, right now, though, I want to get a sheet of paper. I don't have any paper in my base. And I want to make a list of things that I should do on a daily basis. Uh, so let's find a piece of paper. There's got to be a piece of paper around here somewhere. Uh, apparently these desks don't have drawers. But in all these containers, there's got to be one piece of paper. I'm jinxing it now, I gotta stop saying that. I'm never gonna find a piece of paper in here. Yeah, maybe I won't. Is there another room in here? Yes, but it's a storage room. about these desks? Maybe these desks have one? Oh, well, there's a pistol in here, though. It's definitely Kentucky. It's in shit condition, but I could use it to fix another one. That's the thing. There's some 38 rounds in here. Never turned down the 38 rounds. It's actually a surprisingly good gun. Thanks to its very small noise radius. Is there pieces of paper in the jewelry store? I know there's all kinds of random junk in these containers. There we go, sheet of paper. Perfect. Alright, so... This is going to be my daily chores. Uh, one, I want to check crops. Always check my crops for my farming experiments. Uh, I always have to do a perimeter check to make sure the car moats are not failing. And I can't really think of anything else right now that I'd have to do every day. Um, but now that I have this piece of paper, I can you know, write them down as they come to me. So first things first, let's do the daily perimeter check. Oh, and there's some zombies back. Only three of them so far. I get the feeling there's going to be more. Uh, relatively soon here. I'm interested to see how many come back and where uh, as time goes on. Is there anything behind this corner? Oh. How about this one. I think there's a zombie there. Nope, just a bush. And this entrance still doing good. Don't see any zombies back here yet. Let's 
this car mode still looking good. Maybe I should use a car for this. Well, if I use a car, then I have to use gas. I think I have plenty of gas around here. There's tons of cars. Uh, but I may not have access to them for much longer. So the zombies come back. So maybe I should think about getting gas out of the cars. Oh, wow, it's still clear. Although I brought a bunch of gas from Riverside. Uh, in a fit of paranoia, I went back there. <laughs> uh, that's what I did on 4 months and 21 days. Because uh, I couldn't remember whether I turned the generator off or not. Uh, I did turn the generator off, so it was kind of a wasted trip. But it eased my mind that I'm not going to come back to a burned down base in Riverside. Alright, perimeter looks good. So, let's get working on you know, some base improvements. I don't need the armor anymore, so I can take that off so I don't sweat to death. And I can probably carry planks in my backpack pretty well. I think this thing's pretty empty. And I'm gonna need some other stuff. First, let's drop off this pistol. And the 9mm rounds. Make sure I have the most room in my backpack as I can. I need a saw. And I think I'll need a sledgehammer too. I do need some nails. Looks like I'm running a little bit low on nails. Uh, so first I want to make some planks. And I think I remember the perfect place for it. Yeah, all these desks. They're not containers, they're just wood desks, so good for taking apart. Garbage bags. So I'll take all these apart, get the planks from them. Oh man, I got unusable wooded many planks out of that one. So it looks like I usually get about two planks out of this, each one. Which should be enough to cover whatever I need to build for one entrance. Maybe even both. We'll see. Hey, you know, I think I forgot the sledgehammer. So I'm gonna need that. So let's just hold it in my hands. Make it a little bit easier to carry. You know, at some point I do want to train Long Blunt and like try to see how effective a sledgehammer would be. Probably not nearly as good as a baseball bat. Well, we'll see. Alright, so it looks like I can get out on this roof. So I won't need to build a long platform. I don't feel like building one all the way across the food court. So we'll just go out here. And then I can build a railing. 
There you know, uh, a window to hold a sheet rope. Let's pick up this broken glass. And you know what, we'll make this two... Two squares wide. I don't think there's really much point in trying to like cover up the windows of the mall. So there's windows everywhere. Alright, so I'll build a thing to hold a sheet rope. And upgrade it. Am I out of nails? Yeah, yeah I'm out of nails. Okay. This a window, and I also want to put a fence on either side of it because I don't want to fall off of this thing on an accident. <laughs> Give it a little bit more of a safety factor. And right, now I need a sheet rope. So let's put this way, and let's go try to make a sheet rope. Maybe there's zombies down in the cafeteria. All the corpses are probably gone by now, though. Yeah, no corpses in here. And I can't get out there outside anymore because all the doors are blocked. I have a ham radio on the ground here. I think I'm going to take that. Because I do want to have one up at my base to listen to the weather broadcast station with. Uh, and if I get rid of these planks, I can just fit it in my backpack. Just run it back. So I'll add some more player-made constructions in the interior of the mall. Help produce the respawn. And yep, I can fit that right in my bag. I need a desk for it though. So before I drop that off, I'll need a desk. So I'll do the sheet rope first because there's clothing right here. So I guess this, these clothing racks are good for something. Making sheet ropes. We'll go hang that, then we'll take care of the uh, the ham radio. And being in this corner, I think the zombies will be less likely to tear it down, because they don't really go back there very much. Alright, so I need a desk. Now these desks are weird. I don't want that kind of desk. I think you can even take it. Can you take it? No. <laughs> weird desk. There's another office place back here. It's like the mall administrative offices or something. Was this way? So they'll probably have a good desk. Uh, not the kind I want. There's the kind I want. Throw the bro broken glass out. Yeah, let's take this. Oh, it has items in it. Some pens. Now let's take it, because then I can put like batteries for the radio into the uh, the drawer. That'll be a good place to keep them. So 
let's bring this back. I think it's through this door, this is my base. You can tell because I actually made a door. <laughs> I am the labyrinth and the buffer room. We'll put the desk right here. Right next to the bed. Alright, now let's pull out the ham radio. So I guess the third thing to do every day, some kind of base improvement. So that's what I'm doing today. Doesn't have to take the whole day, but you know, just some of it. So let's turn this on. Uh, it needs a battery. I thought I had batteries around here. Let's throw this one out. Do I have batteries in here. I gotta put the sledgehammer back anyway. Well, actually I'm not done yet. I still have to make another entrance on the south part of the mall. I thought I had batteries around here somewhere. I don't know, but we'll take a breather. Get rid of that exhaustion. And eat something. More of my corn and potato chili. Some kind of chili. Canned food casserole. I wonder if I could forage. Alright, on this side, I have to build a platform out there. Or I could just knock through one of the walls. I think we'll knock through this wall. And build an entrance that way. I think that'll be easiest. This corner, I don't think they walk here very much. So we'll build it here. Let's put this back in my backpack. Alright, I need some planks. Oh, don't walk on the glass. Ah, there's some tables I could take apart. Because I only need four. Four planks. I think these will give you two planks each. So there's two. I can take, take apart those shelves too. Look, clothing shelves or whatever they are. Nope. Don't even have to. Got enough from these tables. I gotta tell you, this eagle eyed perk I have is really good. I have like a 50% vision cone. I can make some sheet ropes out of these. Perfect. I got everything I needed out of this store for my new entrance. So we'll rewall this. Make it a window. And put a sheet rope on it. Am I out of nails? No? I have she ropes. <laughs> Just wasn't showing for whatever reason. Alright. I think that's all I'm going to do today. I think I'll just waste the rest of the day. I have enough nails to just put them in a box again. I keep having a net gain of nails when I take things apart.
So I guess I can drop my stuff off. So I'm not going to be building anything else. I have a bunch of garbage bags. Maybe I should get some rain collectors out there at some point. It hasn't rained in a while though. So I'm not really going to worry about it until I see it's actually raining. So yeah, I think I'm going to go sit outside and just waste the rest of the day here. Sit here and contemplate life. Cause if you sit outside, you don't get bored. So it's nice having a balcony. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and waste time and go to bed. And then we'll pick up again uh, the following day, tomorrow. So I went to bed. Came back. So it's now 7.30 the next day. So four months, 24 days? Whatever it is. Uh, and today, I'm gonna do the idea I had yesterday. I think we're gonna go, gonna go try to forage. Because if I can still forage, it should be I can't read what date it is. That thing's always too small, but it should be still early enough in the year to let me forage. And that'd be a good way to like stretch my canned food supplies for sure. Have some berry salads, some mushroom roasts. Some frog legs. Wild eggs, you get all kinds of stuff from foraging. I think you can even eat the bugs. I never tried to eat the bugs though. So this barrel still has a bunch of water in it. It's my wash myself barrel, so anytime I walk past it, I just have to wash myself. Including myself. How much is left? 40%. So it took 30% water to wash all my clothes. And me. So we're going to go out this back part. And we're just going to go running out into the woods and see if we can forage. See if there's actually foraging zones over here. We shall see. Not there. I'll probably have to go quite a ways before I'll be able to. And I don't know if you have to put traps in foraging zones for them to work. I think I'll do an experiment. I'll build some traps up on the roof of the mall, see if they ever catch anything. And if they don't, I'm just not going to trap anything here, because so far it's quite a ways that we have to go. I'd rather not have to go all this way to check my traps every time. Not yet. Yeah, I definitely want to make this a once in a while thing, so I gotta go this far. Probably gonna run into zombies pretty soon. And no foraging zones yet. What about over here? Nope. Well, I am stubborn, so I am gonna keep going. I've already gone pretty far. Not in that stand of trees. Oh, 
Got some zombies. Four of them, looks like. Not a problem with the machete. In fact, so few, I think I'm gonna swap out to the nightstick. Stop resisting! This is an unlawful assembly. Still no foraging zone. Like a meta event. So maybe that'll draw in any straggling zombies in the area? We'll see. But you know, I don't actually have to stay anywhere near it. Ah, now I can forage. Alright, so it's when the grass changes color. There's like a line. I guess that denotes that there's a foraging zone here. So yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's look for some stuff. Let's see what we get. I already got some frogs. Frogs are good. And got some berries, some mushrooms. Working pretty well. I am a level 10 forager though. Move over to the next zone. Looks like the coast is clear. I don't see any zombies. Make sure that goes into my backpack. Some mushrooms. Some bugs. I mean, I guess we're going to find out if you can eat bugs, because I am going to try to eat these bugs at some point. I wonder if you can put them in a casserole, like a bug casserole. <laughs> Chili and crickets. Au jus. I see a one zombie over there. Let's go take care of that before I forage some more. I don't want to be foraging with zombies nearby. It's a good way to get your face chewed off. There's another one. Stop resisting! Can't help myself. I'm wearing a riot helmet and a police vest and I have a baton. Doesn't look like there's any more. So we're gonna assume the coast is clear. Go back to this foraging zone. Don't see any zombies around. Well, it's definitely fall, because the trees all change their foliage to their fall foliage. So, it's good foraging. I'm getting a little tired. Glad I can tell which mushrooms and berries are poisonous. Bugs. I mean, there is water nearby. I could fish. Right, th that's good. It's still pretty early. It's 10:40. Not even noon yet, and I've already got 
a whole bunch of food. And you know, since I'm actually so tired, this might be a good time to test out uh, the tiredness reduction items. So I've never had any good luck with them, but I'm wondering if I'm just, like, using them wrong. Just not quite doing it right, so... I'm gonna give the tired tiredness reduction items another shot once we get back. Like we'll make some coffee, we'll make a cup of tea, grab some vitamins, and we'll see which ones are best at reducing your tiredness. That would be pretty useful if I'm like way out in the field and I'm getting tired but I still need to fight. Being able to reduce your tiredness to keep fighting. Definitely run into that problem before. Another meta event. There's quite a few of them today. These woods are a busy place apparently. long run, but it's actually totally manageable, just as long as I don't have to do it very often. And given all the stuff I got, I'm not going to have to do it very often. So I don't think I'll even be able to eat all this stuff before it goes rotten. But I won't be able to forage in winter. Oh, very tired. Let's see, I need some coffee mugs and some coffee, and there's a coffee shop right here. But first, let's drop off my armor and all my foraging stuff that I foraged. Maybe I'll even turn the generator on to put it in the fridge. Let's see, I've got a kettle, I have two mugs. I think that's all I need. I think I have to fill them all with water. There should be enough water in here. I can refill that thing at the uh, emergency rain barrel, the western barrel. So let's see, can I... What can I make for a beverage? So I can make coffee. And I can put more coffee in it. And sugar. I can't put any more coffee, but I can put more sugar, so... Uh, let's just keep putting more in there. Yeah, let's fill it all the way up. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's just way too much sugar. So this does... Minus 5 fatigue. But it gives hunger and unhappiness because of all the sugar I ate with it. So I guess that's a way you could just like eat sugar. <laughs> if you were that desperate. Uh, let's go check the coffee shop. Or not, nah, let's... Do a couple other ones to like compare. So let's see. 
I could do another prepare beverage. So what if I put... Oh, it's getting mixed up with the other one. Yeah, this one has all the shit in it. So let's try to do it with lots of coffee. As much coffee as I can fit in there. Alright, so three coffees and one sugar. I can't make a cuppa. I just don't have enough mugs. So I can make it with coffee or tea. So I need some more mugs. And I might be out of coffee too. I bet you there's some in here. Yeah, I got mugs, got more sugar, some more sugar, some tea bag, oh, and some cupcakes, must have just missed those. Alright, so now let's try some other things. Now I'm ridiculously tired. Alright, so I can make a tea beverage, a cuppa. I can make a coffee beverage. So I'll make a couple of these. Interesting that it's a different recipe to prepare a beverage is to making a cup of tea. I don't know. That's some other shit to throw in here. Alright, let's make these things and see how effective they are. Yeah, and I have to all my foraging stuff in here. I forgot. So if I'm gonna turn the generator on to use the stove, I might as well keep it on. You know? And I still got some frogs in here. Looks like frogs never go bad. So you can just stockpile frogs for winter. <laughs> Do. Frogs are non-perishable. You can only get them with level 10 foraging, I think, though. Because that's the only time I started seeing them. So, I could use a little bit more fuel, but it's doing pretty good. Got in here. A tea bag. Bunch of CD players. I'll take those apart. Will that give me a battery? No. That'll give me a battery though. Throw the rest of this crap out. Perfect. So I was just thinking I need some electronic scrap for the generator, and I was like, well, if I'm getting electronic scrap anyway, I might as well get a battery too for the radio. Alright, so the Jenny's on. Let's uh, cook our cups. 
types of beverages. Turn that on. So while that cooks, I'll put the battery in here. And then hopefully I'll get a weather broadcast so I can know when it's gonna rain. I'm kinda desperate for rain right now. Uh, and I need to add a preset for the emergency channel. That's the right channel. What was it? I don't remember. But my beverages are cooked. I wonder if the cold cuppa just doesn't get hot? I don't know. Let's speed it along, see if it ever gets hot. Let's just grab them all. All right, let's do the test. So, coffee or tea doesn't seem to make a difference, but this will give you, well, these don't give you any fatigue reduction. So let's just pour them out. I don't even want them then. I'm just gonna make my unhappiness go up. All right, but these coffee beverages, they give the same fatigue reduction with two coffees or three coffees, doesn't matter. And sugar just seems to affect the hunger and unhappiness. So let's drink one, let's see what minus five is. Not even enough to get through one modal. All right, what about two? So if you chug two cups of coffee, what? Brings you down one level of tired, okay. But only if you prepare them as a beverage, not if you make an actual coffee beverage. Or a cold cuppa. Wonder if you can make a hot cuppa. How do you make a hot cuppa? Try the vitamins. You know, I always shit on these vitamins for being useless, but it says minus two fatigue per use. So like three uses should get you through one one moodle. Still very tired. I think this is four use or five. All right, five uses gets you through one Moodle. So now I'm just tired. So that's good to know. If you Let's see how far an entire bottle gets me, I'll just take them all. So a full bottle can get you through like three tiredness moodles. So you know, maybe vitamins aren't as bad as I've been giving them credit for. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna waste the rest of the day now. Just sit out here, contemplate life, spend some more time in the base. And then I'll go back inside and go to bed when it's time. Right, so it's the next day. I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, turn this stupid alarm off. So I'll catch you guys next time for another day in the spring of insanity. See you then.